my lovelies. Myrtle here, and we are back with more Dark Side Detective 2 a Fumble in the Dark. Uh, we are continuing our search for Dooley. Uh, as we left off in the last video, we are here at the pier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the bazaar, so let's go ahead and hop on into it. Well, this was definitely, a, this is an image. Got a giant heart on the organ bucket shop, and then Clearly this is an evil cookie, so I think I feel less bad about shutting down this rival bakery to Wang if this is the kind of cookie they have. Alright, also going over what we have in our inventory, we have the Melite, we have the Steel Pizza, the fake Fabergé acorn, and we have the VHS that we gotta somehow air. Alright, let's start talking to people. This cue reminds me of the time I camped out for a copy of the handbook for the recently deceased. Alright, man with tiny hammer. Hello, we were looking for you. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late. But do I care? I do not. I want those cookies. I want them bad. What's the what's the odds on these cookies being enchanted as all hell? What are these people all queuing for? The sea hat cookies by look at it. Alright, let's say dialogue. Yeah, because it just says Q, so it's only him we can talk to. Second-hand hands that run like new are dedicated necrologists work the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. I have so many questions. Alright. What a sinister looking sign. This must be the shop Wang wants closed down. Alright. Sea hag soggy biscuits. The flavor is in the wetness. Oh... That's just gross. It's an alleyway. Alright, so let's check out the cookie shop and then we'll check out the alleyway. You're next, honey. What can I get for you? Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I wish I could buy the lot. Well, I sure as heck ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could afford to. You have fixed assets, don't you? A car, house, family, stuff you can sell. Oh, ha, I can't really sell that stuff. Ask yourself this. Does any of that stuff make you feel as good as our delicious, freshly brined biscuits? Oh, gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. Yes, I would say it definitely seems off. A <laughs> punter. They do taste magical, like kissing the girl of your dreams, or riding a roller coaster for the first time, or kissing a roller coaster, or... Yeah, let's... Yeah. They offer ocean-sprayed mints, brine biscuits, caramel and sea salt cookies, uh, uh, saline snacks, and tsunami s'mores. I am afraid all of those cookies have been pre-ordered. Can I take your details and... A massive down payment for the next batch, if you'd like. Maybe later. Alright. No free samples, I'm afraid. Why, y'all are gonna have to join the queue, like all the other idi uh, idiosyncratic customers. Alright. Hag mother. Well, looky see, girls. A bona fide man of the law. What can we do for you, detective? Oh, nothing. Just browsing. Browsing is cop for snooping. Now, now, Millicent, why I'm sure this nice man and his lost friend have the very best of intentions. I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life, some guidance. Why, you should consider joining the Sea Hags and giving yourself over to the Deep Mother. The Deep Mother? Why, she's the metaphorical goddess in all of us. And of course, the very real goddess deep in the ocean, waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the land folk who forsook her. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. I might pass, thanks. Well, that's both your choice and your loss, honey. I hope you can swim, lady. Yeah, this is... We're gonna have a fun time. You're a quiet one. Mama said never talk to a policeman. 
Mama gives good advice. <laughs> Mama harbored some institutionalized sexism, but I think deep down she meant never talk to the police. What are you looking at? A chump like you who can't control where he's snooping don't deserve eyes. Hear that? Next batch is almost ready. Hell yeah! Heck yeah, Millicent. There's no room for potty mouths under the sea. Alright, one more step up and I'm gonna play you like an accordion. Alright, so we definitely need to get to the back of that shop at some point. Alright, to the alleyway. Okay. Man in big coat, you say. Well, hey there, little fella. You looking for a good time? Uh, my name's Charlie, and I like hanging out. Want to go skydiving? Invite your old pal Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of a highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is in. So want to do something? Uh, we can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Aw, man. Nobody wants to hang with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for somebody who want to hang out with me. Alright, well, we're definitely going to need to find something that, for Charlie. Alright, we have a wheelie bin. If we can move this bin, I could get into that vent. Let's do it! Uh, it's too heavy for just the two of us. Can we ask Charlie? Uh, alright, so nope. Uh, not right now, we can't. Because it's just going to recycle the dialogue. So we haven't done what we need to trigger him to help. I could help, but I won't. That sounds like four seconds of fun for Charlie. I'm an extreme ki life kind of guy. A bin is no challenge. And then you'll be gone, and Charlie will be here alone with nothing to do. So tell me this. What's Charlie going to do for fun once the bin is pushed and you folks are gone, eh? Don't leave me here twiddling my thumbs. All right. So we definitely need to find something to entertain. All right. That leads into the back of the Sea Hag building. Her. I can't reach it. I need to find another way. So we know we got to do that. But we got to find something to entertain. Charlie first. Okay. Alright, so I think we've done all that we can at the wharf right now. So, let's go ahead and check out, I think, the junkyard and see if maybe we can find those wires. But that's the only other place we haven't been to yet. It says, beware the... and then dogs is scratched out and they've written animals? I have a good feeling about that. Yeah. This is handy. I've been planning a trip out here for a while. Back? You come here often? Hey, I'm a student who hunts ghosts on the side. The junkyard is where I do my thrift shopping, detective. Alright, there's a fence. How welcoming. Alright. So I think all we could do is just search the skyline. Let's enter the junkyard. Oh god, <laughs> not these guys again. No, no, long coat, back again. Too smelly in pockets, no like. These guys? I thought they were locked away. No way. Are these gremlins? Like, for real? As in, everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station. Though, I'm not sure how they got here. I think I know how they got here. This box is labeled Dark Side Trash. Hey, this... This is a box of my stuff! McKing must have thrown our case files out when he, the division was closed down. That might explain how the gremlins came to be here. Alright. I bet one uh, matching pair of socks that this will find its way into my local laundriette inside the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All of my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's a serving suggestion. I hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never going to work out. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out it was just a pigeon roosting in it. Hey, we're a ghost pigeon, but still, just not that exciting. Do they really break any machine they're near? Not just machines, everything around them falls apart. When they were loose in the police station, it was crumbling to pieces. That's neat. Neat in a bad way? 
There's a family of raccoons in here, and they do not seem happy to see us. Alright. Wonder what happened to that. Oh, I think I recognize that vent, and I think we happened to that. <laughs> Alright. It's a muscle car. I wonder if I can fetter a horse ghost to this and get it running again. Yeah, I had one of these when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. Alright. Smell like food. Pull, pull, pull it out. I think they're hungry. Alright. It's a tube of old solvent. A half-used can of old solvent. Soon to be a fully used can. Alright, so we have some solvent. Stupid lady, only give us food. Want, want, uh, junk food. What good, uh, junkyard with no junk food? Stay away, sticky finger, gramp, no go in pants again. Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? No, that does not help. Uh, bleep, 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 me like noise machine, bleep, bleep, bleep. Alright. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz, no feel fingers no more. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. Well, if they're hungry, we happen, and there are three gremlins, and we happen to have three pieces of stale pizza. I probably shouldn't feed them without a good reason. Uh, it's after midnight somewhere, after all. Well, I mean, I guess we need to find a reason to, well, I mean, if we feed him, we can get his Game Boy and give the Game Boy to Charlie, and then get Charlie to move the thing. Oh, what, well, wait. There's more to the junkyard. Alright. Look! There are the wires! Uh... Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop this machine. Pizza power! To the, uh... Conveyor belt! This should lure the gremlins out here. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast! Alright. <gasps> That's cheating. Give those back. Nah, I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you'll uh, need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Alright. There's a broken bit of pillar. That still looks functional. How do we save it? <laughs> Alright. Hee <laughs> hee. Belt no match for spike. Big machine tastes like metal. Yum, 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 pig's bum. Alright. It's broken now. I need to find some sturdy tech to repair this with so she'll release the wires. I'm not talking to you until you have what I want. Something sturdy to replace what I got broken here. Fine. Alright. Alright. Uh, we do not have the upgraded machinery, so we cannot go into the office. Alright, well. Uh... Those gremlins have their shot. The old one might have tetanus now, if not. Alright, so we don't want the spoiled food. It's a broken console. Gene was playing with a joy child, but it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming from it now. Alright, so we're gonna need to have that fixed somehow. It It's safer if less exciting now. Alright, so there's nothing we can get from the old fridge. Alright, a console with a broken screen. Great tunes, though. If you don't uh, find a use for it, I'm taking it as a shower radio. Alright. Well, we do know somebody who can fix stuff. Let's go to the pier. Now let's say we get Mark to fix the joy child. Can you fix this? Hmm. Looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. I have just the reattached uh, it like this. Here you go. Thanks. How much for the repair? It's free to an old-timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly, so, you know, when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep. You hit retirement age, and either they accept you, or you're Logan's run. Anyway, put in a good for word for me, okay? I'm not... You know what? Thanks. Alright, so now we have the fixed joy child. So let's go back to... Oh, wait. No, we were already in the right spot. Uh, dang it. Alright, so we go back here. Go back here. Back in the alleyway. Give Charlie the game child. Here, take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. 
Whoa, wee! This is a chipper wee fella. How can I repay you? Uh, you could help us move this bin. Consider it done in about four seconds when it's actually done. I feel like that was faster than four seconds. All right. I should be able to rig through, wiggle through. All right, I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than Dooley usually gives. That's not an excuse. I'm being helpful. Hmm, suspicious. What the hell is going on here? I'm no patisserie, EA, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. I do some baking, Detective, and no, this is not usually how you make a cookie. Alright. Boxes of ingredients conveniently stacked up for easy, uh, as an easy escape route. Alright, we're gonna have to escape at some point. These look like lovebirds. I think they're screeching beautiful tunes at one another. Seems to be a vat full of some liquid that's coming from the pipes above. Uh, an oven conveyor belt, low-grade cookie dough goes in one end and cooks and then this liquid gets sprayed on. They are pumping them out at a pretty high volume. Let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge that uh, what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to uh, rise the sea levels so she who may never rise above the surface can reclaim the land to sell cookies for good deeds and there's an asterisk uh, sea hags know that moral morality is subjective all in the name of the deep mother is good and right and also just hmm that's yeah, not suspicious at all Hmm, the cookies. I should take some back to the folks in the forensic lab. Say, I say, knowing we have no forensic lab. Alright, so we now have some sea hag cookies. They seem like normal cu cookies, if a little more moist. Well, they're obviously not normal based on this. Okay. So, we're going to have to analyze these cookies, but I don't see anything else to click on. Uh, these cages seem to be connected to that vat. I think they're draining the love emotion from these birds and baking it into the cookies. That would explain why everyone's so crazy for these cookies. Maybe if I can replace the birds with something that has a different emotional energy, people won't want to eat them anymore. That should close the place down. Like, say, a pair of mechanical love birds. Alright. Now, let's see if we can ask the bear for the mechanical love birds. All right. Hmm, I could use these. And I could use a nice memory of home, but we all don't get what we want. All right, well, what do you want for them? All right, let's try talking to him. And what can I do for you? Need robotic roommate, mechanical mate, or cybernetic cutting down? All right, it's the same dialogue so far. So we don't, I don't think we can get those yet. All right. So, old solvent, the VHS, the Faberge egg, Melite, and now a sea hag cookie. Alright. So, let's just start trying to see if anything, if the bear wants anything in our inventory. So, start here and just work our way across. Why? Why would you give this delicious looking honey stone to me, a normal person with no strong affinity towards honey? Well,. That was lucky. I had no idea that that was a honey stone. I want those birds. I mean, I guess I could take it as payment, but only because it's a nice looking stone. Can't eat a stone. Believe me, I've tried. Ah, sweet. It's soft golden honey stone. Bringing back entirely bear free memories of my youth. Alright, so now we got the love birds. And I think. Alright, so we're going to need to figure out a way to make the lovebirds look like the lovebirds. Which I have an idea. Which I believe we could probably use the clown makeup at the station. So I think that we need to use the cookie here. Because I think this is how we're going to get the gavel. I'm not 100% certain, but you know, let's, do, let's see if we can trade him the cookie for the gavel. Are these what you're looking for? Oh sweet, divine, how did you get these and what do you want for them? 
I have to hang some paintings. Could I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for these cookies. Sure thing. Just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourselves in over your head. Alright, so now we have the gavel. So we're going to need to the... We don't have the pages yet, so we can't go back to the auction house so we get replacement pages. So let's go ahead and try our theory with the lovebirds. Let's go to the dressing room. Alright, and uh, let's try and use the bird that's on the makeup. Alright, a slap of this, a dash of that, we'll have these bots looking real in no time. Alright, so now we have paint- Oh my god, they do not look real! <laughs> Such a bad Paint job. I think they can pass for normal. You and I have very different definitions of the word normal. Alright. So let's go back to the sea hag and swash, swash, swap out the birds. Alright, back into the vent. And... Okay, be free, you little lovebirds. In you go, robotic doubles. Oh yeah, those cookies now have a healthy green glow. Well, that certainly is different. I don't want any anymore. How strange. Yeah, alright. They might get suspicious if I take too many. These two are less happy, but then again, that's the point. Alright. So let's... A normal hammerless man now. How are the cookies? Oh lord, it's like eating ambrosia. The nectar of the gods in my mouth. I'm so happy. Alright. Uh... Miss Wampus? Yes, Millicent? Something ain't right with the Dutch oven. All the cookies have gone green. Oh no. Oh no! Detective, I want to report, uh, I'm not sure what kind of sabotage. I bet the cop did it. What? Me? I would not, I, not this me. That's for sure. Look, he's having a guilt stroke. I'm heartbroken. I nursed each cookie like it was baked in my own oven at home. <laughs> Sobs. <laughs> our work, our beautiful work. If I find whoever did it, I'm going to feed them to the very real, literal sharks. Me, yeah, I think we should be going. Oh, can we? Yo, we can't go in the organ bucket. Alright. Alright, let's talk to Wang. You, I thought we were this place against people like you. By which I mean only you. I did the thing. I could see everyone is so miserable. That's my target audience, though, so sales are through the roof. Oh, cheer up. Your frown is ruining. It's ruining? Yes, just ruining. A general ruiner. I hate it. Smiler. GTFO. Go try frowning otherwhere. For what is worth, detective, what those kids were at is far worse than this. I guess. Anyway, a deal's a deal. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. Alright, so now we have the transceiver. Alright, so I think we've done everything we need to hear. Alright, so we have the gavel, which is the only other thing I can think to do with right now. So let's try the auction house again. And let's see if we can get into the back room. Wait, oh, yeah, auctioneers only back there. No hammer, no enter. So, hammer on the door. I think I'm missing something with that plan. Okay, show the guard the gavel. What's this? The auctioneer hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours. Mine. I've got the coat, the hammer, and the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are old things to sell and rich people to appease. If we don't uh, get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things, like hunting the poor, doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, becoming landlords. Oh yeah, we gotta stop that. We're doing God's work. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can steal back here. 
Somebody is trying to hawk the stuff online. Uh, paper records from their sales, nothing of use in here. Wow, it's all so backstagey. Is this what a rock concert is like? I can only presume so, yes? Alright, there's a Soviet manual. An installation manual for old Soviet tech. It says you only need two installation tools, a hammer, and a sickle. I have to imagine that a screwdriver would be handy too. Alright, so we have a Soviet manual. What can we do with this? I can't tell if this is an instructional manual or a communist manifesto. Same, same. Why can't it be both, detective? Uh, boxes of pamphlets uh, to places that don't exist. Crate full of dog hair. Crate full of used merkins. That's questionable. Um, looks like a box of uh, pants from a house move that somehow got mixed up with the rest of this stuff. Are the pants famous at least? Did they straddle a well-known butt maybe? I don't believe so, no. Aww. Alright. Uh, security guard unpublished... The security guard's unpublished novels about a security guard who works in an auction house, but is also a globe-trotting treasure hunter and man of action. That sounds good, actually. Can I have one? I mean, I'd read it. Pages and pages of poetry about uh, colanders and their uses outside of the kitchen. Alright, a loom that has some beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it? When are we going to get uh, into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks? Hey! You can look at this and think, I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime. But something tells me that this will come in useful later so you get your wish. Yay! <laughs> At least until I find a use for it, then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it comes from. That's as noble as it is lame. Thanks? A never-emptying jug. Wow, why is this in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever it is empties of is both useless and disgusting. A bust with eyes that follow you around the room. As if a bust with eyes wasn't weird enough. Great representation of an angel creeping up behind a man. Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels weren't always sneaking up on people to give them books. Alright, so I think we got everything we need from this back room. Alright, a stringless room. It has holes uh, in it for string uh, to plug into, so that could be useful. I think we might need that for the machine. Yeah, so I don't know what we need to... Oh. Okay. The Actioneer's Podium is probably the only place I can get my hands on the pages from the actual book. We have something to replace them with. That's where we could do the switch. Okay. I won't fool find Dooley that way. But can we take them? Alright, I think we could take those pages at some point. Alright, well the only other thing I think of is we got the fake Fabergé, which has too many whatever thingy medoodles. I'm going to remove the extra scales Pete drew on this. Ha, <laughs> we have a, a real Fabergé egg. Does this look more real than before? I can't really tell. Alright. So... We give her the egg? I won't find Dooley finding that way. Alright, so we don't give her the egg. Alright. So I, do, I think the loom we use for at the the thing. God, the thing. Um, we use at the station with the transceiver. And I, I'm pretty sure we're going to take pages from this to get pages from the phone book. I don't know what we're doing with the acorn, but I, I think I know what we should do with the tape. So let's go ahead and deal with that. So let's go back to the TV station. To the stage. I won't find Dooley that way. Alright, so we don't just put it in the camera. Uh, maybe we use this one? Alright, no. Alright. Okay, we're 
and knocking on the editing door. Nobody's there. Lights on, I guess I can't enter. Go away. Uh, it's the same dialogue. There's nothing in the dressing room. You again? I hope you didn't bring any more screaming children with you to ruin my love life. Do we give you the tape? Alright. Uh, can you give this uh, to Mar for me to get it on air? Oh, sure thing. I'm just going to put this in the inbox basket. Okay. Did you just drop my tape into the bin? No, that's my filing system. If you look closely, you'll see I filed my broken heart in there, too, after those kids chased the delivery woman away. Well. What the? Uh, hello? Sat man. He will no pass on your videotape. But I will help you. Where's your handler gone? She was no my handler. She was my date. Now I have disposed of her. I sent her home with the cab fare. I am the gentle squirrel, no? Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like the performing monkey. I will steal back your video and meet you in the control room. Viva la resistance. <laughs> what the hell was that? It was great. <laughs> Alright. Let's try and get into the uh, editing room, I guess. Uh, lights off. Knock, knock. Come in. Alright. Uh, nice acorn collection. Thanks, I've been gathering them for a while. They're my pride and joy. I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that I've never opened to save uh, to save to add new acorns. What's all this? I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but the main characters are just so boring. <laughs> Alright. One more frame and that's perfect etiquette. God, I cut too soon. I've had that problem. It sucks. Impressive speakers. I guess you need them to edit all this footage. They're actually just uh, fancy yogurt cartons uh, with some string. Sound is pretty good, though. Okay. So, how are things, Marv? Things are adequate. Thanks for asking. Have you time to talk? Oh no, gotta edit this morning show. Station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policeman. Sorry. Alright, he's got the tape. He's pointing at Marv. I guess we need to distract him. Is there no door that can keep you out? I haven't met a lock. I can't inexplicably open with some old bird bones yet. Well, he collects acorns, so... Hmm. 11, 12, 13. This is perfect! Where did you find it? I found it in an attic on a case. Mm, what? Sure, I'll just unlock my cabinet to put it in right now. Ah, now is my time. Oh my god, he just gassed the room. <laughs> cough, cough. What the? Oh no, Marv, the squirrel. He robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, detective. I recognized him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Fabergé acorns and not know Merle the who Merle the squirrel is. He's a master squirrel burglar. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew he was here for the cursed acorn I had just picked up. I had to act fast. I rang my brother-in-law, a shady guy named Pete. I know him. His kid came over with some friends while they uh, caused the scene. I slipped her the acorn to get it off sight. Damn it, Emily! Uh, they met up once she was safe, safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to an auction house, which I happened to know Merle was casing. So he'd know there was a fake on the scene. Precisely. So when you showed up and he took all the fake, fake locked away acorns, 
and ignored the real one that I had. Bingo. By the time you realize what happened, it'll be too late. I've gotten the thing away to safety. That is, um... That's impressive. <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry about that again, Marv. It's okay. The things we do for friendship, eh? I once power morphed into a giant robot to get a mate out of a jam. Uh... Alright. After all that, he didn't even put uh, the ad on air. Eh, I could just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Aw, thanks. Also, it's public access. We kind of have to show any crap given to us. Alright. Job done. Now to get back to the IT store. That must be how he got into the room. But yes, we, that's how we saw him get in the room. Poke! Alright. Okay. So back to reception. Back to the car park. And then we're going to go back to Mark. At the pier. Oh, there I am! On the TV! Quickly, take this so I can watch myself! How does that work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea, it's old tech. Almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. Now hush, I'm on TV. Alright, so we have Soviet tech. An indescribable hunk of Soviet technology, whatever it is, it looks story. I presume it's off of one of those Soviet battle mechs. Can we combine these? I don't think they need to go together, I just need to bring them to the lady in the junkyard. Alright, well, I mean, I pretty much told us what we need to do. I'm not talking to you, uh, have what I want, some sturdy your place was broken here. Alright, well, do I just give it to her? I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up, uh, to the door and show me. I have the stuff you want. New technology instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay, you can come in. There you go. Super. Uh, here are your wires, comrade. What did you call me? Constable? Hmm. Alright, so now we have the tangled wires, which I'm going to guess we're going to use on the loom. I think I might be able to use this loom to unravel these wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. Tell that to Bobbin Threadbear. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Or, oh, okay. Alright, we just gotta move the wires between the free nodes to untangle them so they're usable. Alright. Uh, some parts of this venture are less thrilling than others. Okay, so if I'm... Can I move? Okay. So I can move this side, but I cannot move... Alright, so let's just... It's blocked by the wire on top. I need to unravel them in order. Ugh. All right. Okay. So I then need to get the green one down here. So let's go ahead. All right. I'm t I was making this harder than I had to. All right, that's all of them unraveled. Now I know what to do next time my headphone wires get wrapped. Alright, so now I have untangled wires. Alright. Hands off, certified breakers only. I'm excited to get tinkering with this new gear. Sorry for holding your wires, I'm just fed up with those little guys breaking into my gear. How they end up living with you? I was crushing some stuff, as is my want, when I cracked open a clay urn, everything stopped and they climbed out. They're harmless for the most part, useful uh, to have in a junkyard, Good for breaking stuff down, so I keep them around. All hunky-dory as long as I keep them from the machinery. Well, no more. Now they can wander freely, breaking whatever their little hearts desire. Uh, you can find anything you need out there in the trashy lace, lace winds. You just gotta be willing to get your hands dirty and your blood infected. I finished, uh, I fished that out of a whale's belly. How it got there, I don't know. How I got there is also a mystery to me. These have similar markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have a pile of that stuff. Alright. Gremlin art. Ooh. 
semi-artistic scratching uh, from the gremlins. Similar style of the pages I need to replace too. Uh, fresh and but it's too fresh and clean looking. About as good as most art found stuck on fridges. All right, so we're gonna need to make that dirty, I guess. I built those out of discarded beds once I adopted the boys. This fridge I got off the back of a fridge truck, which was on the back of a freighter, which had sunk to the bottom, uh, which had sunk off the west coast. Who knew there was a lady and three gremlins living in this junkyard? I still couldn't afford to live here. Alright. So we gotta dirty up those pages. Well, the only thing I could think of that was really dirty would be the T. So let's go ahead and use the T, which is at the switchboard. Alright, so we have the mug of tea and our gremlin art. If we dunk this in here, that should brown and curl the pages so it look nice and old. Uh, when I uh, need to make aged paper for art, I actually use tea to do that because it does do like uh, some really nice brown staining. And I usually set some aside for darker spots. Alright, so now we have replacement pages. So I think we should be all set to go to the auction house. Okay, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Nothing. Auction time. Uh, welcome innies and outies. Today we have this fine antique occult book of sigils or whatever you all think it is. Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Can I get five? Can I get five? Access watch the pages while I carry this on. On it. Uh, five. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five foot. Six. You can't go backwards. That's the rule, right? No, 600. Christ. Okay, okay, pull it together, me. <laughs> right, I have 600. I want 700. Can I get 700? Any bids of 700? I. I or 8? I. I'm done, detective. Sold. So the woman with the expressionless face for I. What? That's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You like getting rowdy? Do I need to use my gun? Grumble, grumble, grumble. A annoyed noises. I still don't know what I owe. Alright, so now we have the phone book pages. It worked. Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all the other actions you have to do today? Oh, uh, I quit. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the phone book pages. I think we now have everything we need for the transceiver. That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, I forgot where we were going. Alright. So let's go ahead and use this. this. Alright, here's the transceiver. I don't know what that does. Science, pseudoscience, one of those. Doesn't work without it, though. Alright. So we have the untangled wires. Where do these go? Oh, stick them in anywhere. You can move them in uh, the mini game. I mean, later. Alright. Um, and then we have the phone book pages. I've got these. Super. These symbols are like phone numbers. We'll have to work them through until we get uh, through to your friend. Alright. That's everything. Time to try calling Dooley. All right. Now what do I do? See those shapes? They're numbers, like phone numbers. So start dialing. What? That's it? What if he's not at one of these numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. He'll be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I peeked at the design document for this case, so trust me. <laughs> okay, here goes. All right. Uh, anyone else getting a for a good time call vibe off of this one all right so we've got to figure out what number this looks like as uh i don't know all right um so, I mean, there's one, two, two, four, five lines, so maybe you're f five? Uh, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, maybe, oh, okay, I think I, maybe, alright, so I need, 
this one, I think the red one looks like the longest one. So what if I do this and then okay, we're going to move you here and Okay, hang on. I hope these don't have to be like in a specific color spot. All right, so this, this looks like this shape, right? Hello? Oh shit, we got it! Yeah, oh my god! Dooley? Detective? Is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me! Where are you? I hear music! I'm not sure. Everything is different here. It's so cold. Oh, Dooley. Uh, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. Tell me, what do you see, Dooley? And we'll get you home. Well, I can't see the lake from here, so I guess I'm inland a little? Sorry, Detective. Geography here is a little, uh, essed up. Dooley? I can see a... And there's a... A me? Dooley, you're breaking up. And head you in for me soon? Dooley! Dooley! He's gone, detective. <sighs> I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him. Yeah, okay. I have a map of the city in my apartment that we can use. Let's go. I'm coming with. Now you want to come with? Well, yes. It's getting interesting. Alright, so we have Dooley's clues. Uh, notes from the call with Dooley. Let's take him to my apartment and look him over. I can't believe that worked. I, I'm i actually really <laughs> amazed. Also, we're going to get to see Francis' uh, apartment. Ooh. Well, this is it. It's actually a nice looking building. I like that door. Alright. Uh, this is a phone booth Dooley would have called from when outside looking for a lift. <laughs> uh, there's still my local laundriette. They take pride in poor service, which people seem to like, ironically. I lost the top there. Give them five stars. Excellent bad service. Uh, I wish my building came with a fire escape. Affordable towers. Hey, I warned you that the occult doesn't pay well. He did. All right. Uh, window? That's where the superintendent watches from to make sure you don't have any guests over. I expect this entourage will bite me in the ass at least review time, but if saves Dooley, it's worth it. Alright. Got a good feeling about this, detective. I'm feeling a strong energy from this place. It has a special meaning for you. It's where I live. Feels as if you've been here before. Yes, because I live here. Perhaps in a past life. <laughs> Alright. Let's go inside. Oh my god. Okay, let's get to work. Alright, first of all, two things. He, Francis is not wearing his coat. Oh my god, he's not wearing his coat. Which is very rare. Um, also, look at the kitty. Can we pet the kitty? Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that could get him back if we know where he is. Uh, we have the clues. We just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Our, oh my god, I can pet the kitty. Meow. The kitty's name is Petey. Hey there, Petey. It's not feeding time yet. Petey, like police department? That's the one. I sense you're lying. Petey stands for placeholder dually. Told you I was a psychic. Meow. <laughs> I don't care. We can pet the cat. Meow. Uh, I'm sorry. We're going through this again. If any game that lets you pet the animals is a great game. 10 out of 10. Pet can, pet cat. <laughs> oh, I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. How did you manage to kill a fake plant? Well, probably leaving it under direct light caused the, the plant to fade. A bag of Dooley's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need these. Alright, so we have a gym bag of 
Dooley's clothes. There's a sad energy to this place. You're out there somewhere, buddy, and we're gonna find you. I'm gonna need these for the ritual. So we've got some candles. They're very brightly colored. Ignore that. It's all rubbish notes from failed attempts to find Dooley. And what looks like a drawing of the two of you? What? I'm a doodler. I get that. Various uh, things I've managed to take from the Dark Side Division before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. Is that a copy of Ripley's Casted or not? It is. It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, Dark Side portals are usually anchored. A portal from here will always go to the same place in the Dark Side. Usually, but not always, uh, the here's location mirrors there. But this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it to a place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Great. Now let's figure out where he is and cast it. Yeah. It's gonna work, Detective. Thanks. Poke. Not now, I'm trying to focus. Okay, Detective, I'm ready to go. Let's chase those clues. My map of clues from across the city. Wow, I've never seen a real-life crazy person board before. What's that? My computer. I didn't know you could get them so big. It must be so fast. Uh. <laughs> All right. Those old case files. Uh, old odds and ends from the office. Nothing to see there. What's this? I said nothing to see. Office Halloween party? <laughs> Twins from The Shining. <laughs> oh. I like it. We won second place. Well, I think you were robbed. We were. McKean won first place by going as himself because the likeness was uncanny. That's, that's some bull crap right there. Alright. Alright, notes from the call with Dooley. I might be able to use these to find him. Alright, well, what am I putting this on? The crazy board? Right, let's cross-reference what Dooley said with my map and see if we can locate him. Alright. This is all the info I have on the city. I just have to find some place that matches what I know about where Dooley was. We have three cruel... Er, blah, blah. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all of this, we should find you. Alright. Yeah, and... Yeah, slow and steady should do it. We'll scratch off everywhere he isn't and see what's left. Easy. Alright. Alright, we talked to the dually on the phone. I could hear some uh, somebody uh, playing music in the background. Dooley is somewhere inland. Well, he's Dave the Tentacle. Oh. Alright. So, Dave the Tentacle. Uh, we've got Nulla. We've got the Holy Triplets, Spider, Granny Ghoulie, Blood Wolf Badge, the Lullaby Ladies, Belle, and Land the Sickly. Alright. On Dooley schedule, known portal here, location of previous cases. Alright. So, we know he's in... Alright, we know... Alright. So, I could hear some music playing in the background. I don't think it's going to be the pier. Um... I'm proud of this world. Alright. Uh, he's somewhere inland. Alright. Alright, we can hear music, so I doubt it's the library. Alright, I marked locations with any info that seemed relevant. Alright. Alright, uh, Darksiders number one, Busker. Alright, so... Star Sign Calamari, eyeballing... Hobby eyeballing cats, I'll figure out their game someday. Occupation Busker, can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, a guitar to the face slows most people down. <laughs> Alright. Uh, proprietor of, of the Baroness... Ban 
proprietor of the Baroness Banishment Barroom, a very private lady. I had to talk to her through a hole in the wall. Uh, star signed, unresolved attachment styles, hobby, vandalizing public amenities, occupation, forceful dresser, can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, collects tooth sculptures. Interesting. All right, a gaggle of old ladies who move from place to place, waking up sleeping babies before they slip back into their shadows to find another resting toddler. Star signs of various hobbies, waking babies, cackling at the parents and leaving. Occupation, retired, can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, they won't let me cross the bridge for I have to go around. Well, they won't let me cross bridge for I have to go around, all right. Um... Granny Gooley, the Gooley family matriarch, loves to dote on her family. Very busy socialite, loves to talk. Star sign, you never ask a lady that. Hobbies, making free use of travel pass. Occupation, busybody. Can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, used to be in love, uh, or used to be in love with the knowledge vampire Count Factula. Interesting. Have we met Spider? Owner of a costume shop, the number 17 place in Lone Lake for some of your costume needs. Uh, star sign Griffin, hobbies, plays the invisible flute. Occupation shopkeeper, keeper, can speak Latin, no. Fun fact, dislikes dressing up. Interesting. Alright, the polytopulates, an amalgamation of people sewn into one being. They identify as a new age commune traveling the streets to spread the good word of oneism, absorbing fresh recruits as they find them. Uh, star sign oneism. Hobby loves playing twister with themselves. Occupation one person ban. Can speak Latin no. Fun fact: five percent of all missing persons cases are found in the polytopulates. All right. Nala, a literally fiery-haired redhead who I have met in my travels, seems to be studying academic dismantling at TLU with the hopes of being its last student. Star sign Phoenix, hobbies, plays the pyrophone, occupation student, can speak Latin, no, fun facts, dislikes hats. My old pal, the pipe and vent dwelling Dave. Star sign Purple, hobbies, caressing bums, occupation tentacle, can speak Latin, no, uh, fun fact, seems to be able to travel between worlds using plumbing. Alright. Alright. Uh, guess where Dooley is at one of these locations. You have three clues that can be used to pinpoint the correct location. Only one location fits all three clues. Alright, each card is made up of two parts. Information that contains on the card and the quick toggle rule uh, to view them out. If you move the cursor over the penheads, you are shown uh, a rotation icon letting you quickly toggle on or off the card. Uh, once you've narrowed down uh, your search... Um, you toggle off all but one location. Check location arrows will enable you to find out if you are correct or not. Good luck. All right. All right. Chief Ghoulie's household. Ghoulie lives here in uh, the dark side. Patricia, uh, her husband, and Buzz visit as often Granny Ghoulie. All right. Uh, House of the Dead also seems like number one dating spot in Twin Leaks Dark Side counterpart. Alright, so we could hear music and Dooley was somewhere inland. Oddly unburnt mansion belonging to Al Corpzone, uh, the soul of which is now running loose in the Dark Side in the body of his Bright Side counterpart, currently unoccupied. Alright, well, I doubt he's in the Dawn's mansion. All right, uh, my local laundry mat uh, in the bright side. Something always goes wrong here at the wash, but my other options for uh, journey. All right, I don't think it's the laundry mat because we would have heard the sound of the laundry machines in the background instead of music. All right. Uh, the main uh, precinct of Lone Lake and home of the bright side division, the criminally overfunded counterpart to my dark side related department. Hmm. All right. Uh, this is not being destroyed in the dark side. Instead, they gave it a seat on the council. I would have expected it to be useless, but turns out it's very well connected. All right. Retirement home. Uh, in our world, it, it's uh, shifty acres. In our world, it's a retirement home. In the dark side, it, it's a retired homes, a plane of houses that have had their mortgages paid off, so they are free to roam these acres in their old age. All right. Interesting. 
Uh, if you think carnivals are a ghoulish place back home, you should see the dark side one. Uh, no events running the show here, so things are a little easier to understand, if a little less charming. Well, I mean, there would be music at a carnival, so... Campsite. Uh, not as active as uh, it is on the bright side. Um, I mean, it could be there, because... It has a phone, and Dooley does play music. I don't know. Let's just... Alright. Alright, let's try... Start by... We're gonna rule out anything that doesn't have a phone in its picture. So let's turn off that. Alright, so there's a phone there. Alright, the carnival has music, but it doesn't have a phone in the picture. So I think the phone has to be in the picture. So there's a phone. Alright. I don't see a phone at Bells. I mean, the switchboard is a phone, but I don't see a phone in the picture, so we'll switch that off. Alright, there's not a phone here in this picture. Alright, there is a phone there. Not a phone in the graveyard. That's not a phone in this picture. There's a phone in the pier. Not a phone here. There's not a phone at the library. There is not a phone in this picture. There is a phone at the laundry mat. <laughs> Alright, so if you're somewhere in... Alright, the... Alright, the second link is focused more on business and, of course, terrible accidents. So, if he's somewhere inland, then he's not at the pier. And then he's probably not at the campsite, because that's on the lake. So, let's turn that off. Alright. And... I mean, the retirement home is... I don't know. I think... Alright. So, hear music playing. I don't think the retirement home would have music. Alright, so he's either at the mall or the laundromat. Alright. I mean, I don't know. I feel like, alright, so my things is, like, I feel like if it's the laundromat, we would have heard the machines. But if it was the mall, we would have heard more people. But we didn't hear either of those. We could hear music. The mall would have music. The laundromat would have music. He's somewhere inland. I think both of these qualify. So we got a 50-50 shot. So let's start with the... I mean, the laundry mat's like right outside the apartment. So let's start with the laundry mat. And if that's not right, then we'll try them all. Alright. So I think we click this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank God the laundry mat was next door then. Alright, that matches we found him. He's outside this building. He's been he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well you found him, now let's go get him back. Yeah. To the roof. Okay. Alright, this will do. We can perform the ritual here. Alright, Ray is black. We just need to mark some glyphs and light some candles and place down something of his. Coo, 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 other pigeon noises. It actually said other pigeon noises. Even I didn't foresee this happening. This is exciting. My real, my first real seance. Mine too. Poke. Not now I'm trying to focus. Alright, so let's chalk this bad boy up. Draw this here and that goes there. And voila! Alright. Candles. Oh, good. She's got a lighter. Alright, great. Alright, and now Dooley's gym bag. Put the bag here, and that's everything. Now to see what happens. A wind is picking up. There's a lot of psychic energy, and I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. Detective? It worked! 
Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. It definitely worked. What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. It was fine. Hard to get around. Terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, detective. I knew you'd find a way. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Aww. Detective? Yeah. What's a prawn folder? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Alright, meanwhile. Uh, that's not good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and call that for part two. We have solved the case and we have gotten Dooley back. So I will see you all in part three where we tackle Twilight Years.